Hello, I'm Aaron Hendren, I'm a filmmaker from Albuquerque, and I am using my YouTube channel to talk about some movies. I like a lot of different kinds of movies, and the rules for this project are that I will only review movies that I like, and I will break that rule anytime I feel like it. Also, I will be discussing plot points and spoilers. This week I want to talk about a movie from 1986, Dogs in Space. Dogs in Space was written and directed by Richard Lowenstein. It stars Michael Hutchins, Saskia Post, and Nick Needles. I love this movie, and one of my favorite things about it is the way that people see themselves in it. Sure, audience members are bound to identify with characters in every single movie and story, but Dogs in Space is special because of the way so many people from all over the world say, I was there. This was my life. Dogs in Space takes place in Melbourne in 1978 when the punk scene was first blooming in Australia and pieces of Skylab were plummeting down to Earth. Few of us know what it was like in that time and place, but I find Dogs in Space to be incredibly relatable. After all, I was there. This was my life. The movie opens with members of the ensemble camped out to get tickets to the David Bowie concert. Sammy, played by Michael Hutchins, is getting harassed by troublemaking thugs who are trying to provoke him. Sammy's girlfriend, Anna, and some other women from the gang beat on the troublemakers until they run away. I am going to try so hard not to end every thought with, this was my life. Now we're at the punk rock crash pad. There's a runaway girl sitting outside waiting to be invited in. There's a band in the house. There are more roommates and guests than I can keep track of. There's Sam and Anna, and there's Tim who plays keyboards, and there's the couple, and there's Lucio. He is a student who is always dutifully studying in the midst of all the chaos. There's a lot of drugs, and there's a lot of TV. Sammy is a man-child and the singer of the band, and everyone looks after him. No one looks after him more than Anna does. She has a job and looks after everyone. On a personal note, I love Anna. And if Saskia Post ever needs a favor or a free lunch in Albuquerque, all she has to do is call. Tim is played by Nick Needles. He spends most of the movie cracking wise and being down on his luck. Okay, let me pause here for a minute because it might seem like I am ignoring the plot of the movie. I've talked about some of the characters, and if you watch the movie, you'll see them starve together and watch TV and have complicated relationships and be unable to fit into their parents' world. The plot doesn't really weigh in too heavily, and I might be doing a disservice by dissecting it. They starve together, watch TV, and get high. Everyone is kind of lost. Sometimes there aren't heroes and villains and objectives and acts. Maybe Joseph Campbell never ate dinner from a 7-Eleven using spare change. But we have. There's a club with live music because music is often what saves certain youths from becoming full-on criminals. Here's a question. What do you do when you're all packed in a car on the way to the club and the car flips over? You push the car back onto its wheels and go to the club. Lucio continues to study and not have sex. A former one-night stand tracks him down and moves into his room with him. Anna loses her job. No more peanut butter, no more chocolate slurpees. True love is beautiful. Nick Cave. Maybe this helps. The runaway girl is welcomed into the tribe when she's given a hair dye and what I think is some kind of speed tea. She looks up to Anna and Anna continues to look after everyone. A lot of speed is dished up in preparation of Dogs in Space, Sam and Tim's band. There's not a lot of confidence in Tim or his synthesizer. I think Michael Hutchins is trying to play down his talent here, but he's still pretty great. 
Anna's heart is full of punk rock love for him anyway. Tim gets fired from the band, life gets harder, and so do the drugs. It's kind of second act stuff, but like I said, I'm not going to worry too much about the structure here. It's not exactly a Pink Floyd's The Wall structure, but the movie definitely isn't following the rules. The girl learns about sex from Anna, and I'm not going to quote it here, but I will say that I don't think anything Anna says came from a textbook. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't mention Chainsaw Man. Sometimes there's a baby. We get a little bit of Sam's backstory when his mom shows up with dinner and clean clothes. They share an uncomfortable conversation and neither of them is really communicating with the other. It's sad and relatable. Meanwhile, Lucio's woman admits that she is pregnant and the baby isn't his. Their relationship deteriorates. Sammy kisses the runaway and breaks Anna's heart. Shame on you, Sam. Not cool. Everything is messed up in our love story, so there's a house party. Uh-oh, the mushrooms are kicking in. Sam and Anna make up. Some of the guys argue over who actually owns the television that is in the yard and on fire. The runaway goes with Tim and it's kind of who cares. I could talk the most about her arc, but I think I'll just act bored instead. That seems to be more to the point. Of course there's a lamb in the house. Its presence is eventually explained and I am 100% convinced that the lamb exists without symbolism. The gang goes out to take pictures while Sam and Anna stay home to take drugs intravenously. It ends poorly. I assume you know what's coming anytime there's heroin use in a movie and Iggy Pop comes on. Lucio passes all of his exams. The ending of Dogs in Space makes as much sense as any other part of it. So what have we learned? For me, the movie is a series of glimpses, much like life itself. We fill our lives with moments until we all fade away into punk rock obscurity. I just hope we can all remember that while we're here, it's important to be nice to Anna. Hey, I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And please tell me what you thought about Dogs in Space in the comments. If you would like to watch any of my movies, go ahead.